this is some really dangerous stuff that this, uh, this governor, and is he doing it to, 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 for his presidential race? I don't know, but it's, 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 it's ill time, ill thought, and it's not the truth. I didn't do it, and I wasn't involved in it, um, but I think, um, I think what they're doing is I think that they're probably going to show um, some of the folks that eventually parlayed, uh, you know, being a blacksmith into, into doing things later, later in life. That was Ron DeSantis' reaction to the logical continuation and conclusion of the policies that he has fought tooth and nail for so long. A component of which says, and I'm quoting, slaves develop skills which in some instances could be applied for their personal benefit. Governor DeSantis, who signed a law requiring changes in how race be taught in schools, said this was all written by scholars. The fact is that Governor DeSantis starts these things for political advantage. He tries to take political advantage of them. And then yeah. he says, I, I don't know. I didn't do it. I wasn't involved. I mean, that's that's not leadership, Margaret. The controversy is due to these new teaching standards in Florida, which were unanimously approved by Florida's Board of Education. And they're just the latest attempt by state leaders to regulate how students learn about race in public schools. And get this, they were crafted by a Florida Department of Education work group to match the so-called Stop Woke Act, something specifically requested by DeSantis in 2022 to target lessons over issues like white privilege to create new protections for students and workers. Even though I have my issues about former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, he's exactly right here. DeSantis loves to use things like this as a political strategy to gain an advantage over his opponents. But when it comes to who's responsible for this, it's like, oh, I got no involvement. Got no involvement. However, Republicans are divided on whether to support or defend this decision. This is historical fact that slaves did develop skills while they were enslaved and then used those skills as blacksmiths, uh, as in agriculture, uh, tailoring, uh, in the shipping business to then use to benefit themselves and their families once they were freed. That's not controversial. And it actually speaks to the resilience and the aptitude of the enslaved African-Americans who were at the time able to better themselves and able to improve their situation. This should be taught in every single middle school, high school in the United States. This is the best of the best created by African-American scholars in the state of Florida. I despise how Jesse Waters frames his defense of DeSantis and the new curriculum by saying critics of these new standards are lying to people and denying history. That's not what the controversy is about. He knows that. It has to do with whitewashing the legacy and current effects of chattel slavery by conflating positive terms like acquiring skills and supporting the family to the obvious negative effects associated with slavery. These standards really were born out of that. And these are very thorough standards done by African-American history scholars. There is no agenda here. It is just the truth. Uh, and they talk in gory detail a lot of the bad um, in American history, including, of course, the injustice of slavery. So DeSantis is now saying that there is no agenda here. I don't think he's, he's educated about enslavement of my ancestors. DeSantis is using a common concept out of the racism playbook by essentially saying, well, how can this curriculum be racist when you have African-American individuals and scholars working on this project and they say it's the truth. So it is the truth when it's anything but the truth. And of course it is to serve your agenda. We know who you are. We know your history. And also uh, there are black Americans who have no issue upholding white supremacy, which this is doing. But Spike Lee, keep going, man. Even they did have some skills. They were still enslaved. It's not like they opened up a business. It's not like they could profit from it. The stealing of enslaved people to work the stolen land from the Native Americans and work from sun up, sun up to sun down, and and not be treated as human beings. How can it be for your personal benefit when you're treated as an enslaved person? It's not like. Oh, I'm a blacksmith. Okay, I'm going to put a shingle out there. I'm going to be a blacksmith. You, you were owned by Mazza. If you're talking about the history of this country, the United States of America, how can you just like a pun white out mm. <laughs> enslavement? 
How can you do that? I think Spike Lee does a really good job laying out the issues he has with DeSantis and this new curriculum by one saying, first of all, they're not slaves. They're enslaved people that did not choose to be slaves. Do not reduce them to that too. The fabric of the United States being that you have white Americans who stole Africans from their countries, brought them to stolen land, and then which belongs to Native Americans, and then you stole their dignity, or you tried to steal their dignity and humanity, and you stole hella money from them. As the effects of chattel slavery, the profits that they made from that are still being felt to this day. While he's not wrong, I think Spike Lee could have made a stronger point regarding the acquiring skills for personal benefit talking point. The whole curriculum implies that in enslaved Africans had no skills or talents before they were brought here against their will, which is completely false. And what really pisses me off is how DeSantis in the curriculum implies gives the impression that this was a damn apprenticeship or an internship or hundreds of years of a freaking summer course. No, it was enslavement. But that's what they do, don't they, Vice President Kamala Harris? They push forward revisionist history. Just yesterday in the state of Florida, they decided middle school students will be taught that enslaved people benefited from slavery. They insult us in an attempt to gaslight us and we will not stand for it. In ways that we can fight back and not stand for this atrocity, one protest the decision in Florida, urge the Florida Board of Education to reverse the decision as organizations are already doing. Maybe more importantly, stop having major events in the state of Florida. Hit them where it hurts in their pockets. Can't guarantee it, but if you bleed them dry of enough money, you have events elsewhere around the country, things are probably going to change.